Man, I think that uh, Perry Saturn was the guy that I wanted, um, you know, back in the day. And I thought that Perry was unique and just could be, I, I, I thought that, man, this was a megastar in the making. Unfortunately, it just never clicked. He, he could do, he could do anything you asked him to do, but the, Going back to that connection with the audience, man, he couldn't cut the promo to then take it to the next level. He he couldn't really communicate effectively with the audience to be able to, to get over to that next level. But Jesus Christ, man, to watch him go. I thoroughly enjoyed Perry Saturn back in the day. And he was, he was somebody that was on the list of people. So you know, you got to look at him and he asked me a question during the Alex Wright match, but we got Perry and unfortunately didn't work out as well as it could have. Perry has admitted that when he was in WWE, he was gimmicked up out of his fucking mind. So he was not at his best. If you, I mean, if you could have gotten a less injured, less uh, pain pill reliant Perry Saturn. Do you think the trajectory could have been different? I mean, how much do you attribute that to sort of creating his own ceiling? Uh, a lot. And, and that happens to guys sometimes. So maybe if we had gotten him a little bit earlier and, or been able to get him help a lot sooner, it would have been different because he had all the tools. He had a look and there was just something, there was something unstable about Perry that, made you want to watch. It was a car crash getting ready to happen. Was it, was, and, was it his eyes? I'm not saying that to be funny, but it always felt like he had like this. Um, his eyes were telling a story. Yes, they were. And, and, he, and it was a, a crazy story because you looked at him and it wasn't, you weren't really sure what this guy was capable of, but he looked like a million bucks and he could do some incredible shit and was smooth doing it. So it was, there was a mystique about Perry Saturn that made you go, Hmm, I believe him. It, believable is the best thing I, I can say when describing Perry. Lodi lives in Texas. God bless Texas. Um, I might be wrong on this, but didn't Perry Saturn go to wrestling school with uh, triple H? Um, yes. Yeah. He was trained by Walter Kowalski. He and, uh, Perry Saturn and Mike hollow. Who the All those guys, they did go to Walter school. Who is Mike hollow? Mike hollow was one of, uh, Kowalski's students. And Mike was an enhancement guy with us, but Mike was also a trainer. Uh, Chris Nowinski is another one that went to Kowalski school. So Kowalski had, you know, Kowalski was that go-to guy in the Northeast and the Boston area where he produced some great talent. And I, I think China went through there too, didn't she? It was probably later, but I still think it was later. Yes. I think. 